Good morning, Panthers. I know you missed us, but we're back. <laughs> we're still renovating our studio, but yes, we are back for a new episode. How are you feeling, Caitlin? I'm doing well, Darielle. It's good to be back, so let's begin with our show today. Tomorrow, Key Club is hosting a fundraiser called the Stud Pageant. At this event, you'll see some fabulous NPHS boys showing off their talents. Make sure to come out to support your stud and help Key Club raise money for Project Eliminate, a fundraiser for expecting women in third world countries. The show is from 7 to 9 and tickets are only $5 at the door. Next up, let's take a look at the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society branch here at Newbury Park High School, led by seniors Frank Gress and Brenda Heron. If you were anything like me, last year you were probably aware of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society campaign that was being run by Sidney Clark and Jordan Jomsky, and you probably even know that they raised over $64,000 for cancer research. But what exactly is LLS, you may ask? The Leukemia Lymphoma Society is a nonprofit organization which is geared towards blood cancer, um, but also influences the treatments for other cancers as well as it's like the leading research organization for blood cancer at the moment. It also like subsidizes for families and allows a lot of uh, younger patients the ability to receive treatment at all. And I think that's a very important step which is important for us to support. What Brenda and I actually do is that we are both the co-presidents of the Newbury Park High School branch of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and right now we are a part of the Students of the Year campaign which is a seven-week initiative that encourages students to raise as much money as they can any way they know how for blood cancer research via the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Ways that you can get involved on campus is primarily to just keep your eyes peeled for posters we have around that will give information about upcoming fundraising events we have. And we'll have a lot of fun things for you guys to do, like a silent auction online with lots of great prizes, as well as games just in the quad that you guys can all be a part of. And if you would just like to simply donate, feel free to visit our donations tab, which the link for I will put at the end of the video, because every dollar really does count, and that is the easiest way to just uh, get your donation. That sounds like a tremendous cause. You guys should all donate as much as you can. The Panther Prowler has a monthly caption contest that you can submit to. The winner of the contest will be featured in the Prowler's next issue, which comes out February 23rd. You can submit to their website, pantherprowler.org, or check out their Instagram at npprowler to comment a submission. Do you want to get more involved with politics and make a change? The youth and government programs give students a chance to do just that. Lindsay sat down with some members of youth and government to see what it's all about. Open-minded, engaged, curious. These are the traits of the members of the Miller Family Youth and Government Program. Through this organization, students get to see what it's like to work in the government and debate topics that are relevant in today's society. So youth and government is a place where people really get to express their opinions and learn how to really respectfully voice their uh, their beliefs and how to challenge them and really learn how to be a part of a bigger community than just locally because we get to go on trips to Fresno and Sacramento and debate bills and be actual legislations and be senators and assembly members and we get to be a part of something holistic and like bigger than just a club. So we attend Fresno twice and we have a camping trip but we also have a conference in Sacramento in which we literally take over the Capitol, which is pretty cool because we get to go into the Assembly and Senate chambers and debate on those. Students get to travel to the state capitol, speak in favor of their bills, and vote to pass new youth legislation. With the help of his campaign team, Scott Nagatoshi has made it to the final round for California Youth Governor. It's a model legislature in court, so you're the governor of California. I want to be in a position where I could invoke change in the program and in California, but also inspire people to want to do more, and I figured that Youth the Governor was the best way to do this. I'm focusing on issues in California, a lot about immigration and our education system. Youth in Government is a unique opportunity for students to learn to communicate and become more engaged in their community. From being in Youth in Government, I've gained skills that's like public speaking, how to respect other people's opinions even if I don't agree with them, how to formulate conversations and speak with more of a confidence. It's 
absolutely friendly and everyone just wants to come up and talk and everyone's so open and just wants to have community like have conversations beyond just how are you. Reporting for PTV, I'm Lindsay Filgus. YNG is heading off to Sacramento this weekend for their final conference of the year, so wish Scott good luck in the youth governor election. Do you want to see your friends show off their awesome abilities? Well, the talent show is coming up. It will be taking place on February 23rd at 7 p.m. in the pack, so make sure to check it out. Speaking of awesome talents, we have another episode of PTV Unplugged. Jeremy Stein is a virtuoso on the saxophone, so let's check out his sweet tunes. Um, my name is Jeremy Stein, and I play clarinet, and my main instrument is the tenor saxophone. What's really special about jazz is um, improvisation, and it just makes it the most free form of music. It was a little intimidating at first because it's like, oh my gosh, I have so many options. Like, what rhythms am I gonna play? What am I gonna play? Um, but over time, listening to more music, and just playing more music, you get more of a conception and it's just an incredible feeling, you know, having a rhythm section, you know, drums and a bass and piano all behind me and uh, it's just really exciting. Something about doing something that's just so technically advanced, like for me just playing the saxophone and playing music feels good in my hands, it feels good to, to play. And also, thinking on the spot, creating melodies, I mean, that's more about jazz, but improvisation is just, makes me feel so free. And sometimes I, I'll, you know, I'll play something that sounds really nice, and sometimes, you know, if I'm angry, or I don't know, it comes out of the horn and I can really, I mean, like, sounds cheesy, but express how I'm feeling through the saxophone. Bravo. Yeah. Wow, that is some serious musical talent. Come see the NPHS Orchestra perform on March 14th in the pack at 7 p.m. Not only will there be a unique small group performance, but they will also be featuring the chamber singers. Best of all, entrance is free, and donations are always appreciated, though. We hope to see you there. That's all we have for today, Panthers. Stay kind to of one another, and we'll see you next time.